ACTH or Acthar gel is one of the medications that's used as a first line treatment for infantile spasms. So it's a high dose steroid. It's given intramuscularly by injection, usually one or two times a day for a short period of time to stop the infantile spasms. Now remember, infantile spasms are seizures that start out in infancy, somewhere between about four months to about 16 months. These are sudden, clutching, jerking, almost look like myoclonic seizures or repetitive startles. And it has a special hallmark on the EEG, what we call a chaotic pattern or a hips arrhythmic pattern on the EEG. So that means that the background of the EEG is not normal. This child is most often regressing or developmentally delayed. And we need to treat these seizures and control both the seizures and normalize the EEG as quickly as possible. So there are two main choices of medication to treat infantile spasms. One of them is ACTH or Acthar gel, and the other is Vigabitrin or Sabrol. Now, using the Acthar gel might sound scary. It's a shot once or twice a day for about a month. But I have to tell you, it really doesn't have too many bad side effects if you're being monitored and, care and carefully watched. So what typically happens is the child comes into the hospital, is diagnosed with the infantile spasms, the parent or the caregiver is instructed how to inject the medication. They also need to check blood pressure, they need to check for GI upset, they need to check for irritability, and they need to check the urine for ketosis or ketones. They're left on this medication for about a month. Everybody has their own little procedure for doing it, and then often are switched over to prednisone for a few months. So again, we'll put them on a medication to protect their stomach, such as a GI protection medication like Zantac, uh, checking the urine for too much sugar that they're not developing a diabetes, as the blood pressure. But what, there's a program that will tell the doctors what exactly to watch for, as well as the nurse practitioners, the pediatricians. Everybody will sort of know. These children are monitored every week, and they come back to be closely seen, and again, to adjust their medication in case there are any of any problems. So, Actar gel for infantile spasms, safe, effective, and very important to discuss with your doctors and caretakers what needs to be done.